Let's look forward to next weekend. The Concha Del Mar hosts Deck Party. All games played on Deck 15 will earn double XP. Meanwhile, the city celebrates the 90s. If your My Player is a 90 overall or above, this is the event for you. That's it for me. Now hit the courts and get to level 40. Welcome to a new episode of NBA 2K TV. Well, the qualifying game days are over, but our 64 roster spots are filled for the My Team Unlimited tournaments. The tournaments are going down this weekend, March 5th and 6th, and I'll be there to watch all of the action go down. At the end of the weekend, we'll have four finalists. That's two for last gen and two for current gen, with each championship awarding $250,000. And here it comes, the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burke, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. This game will wrap up the homestand here for the Raptors. Pretty much the heart of the NBA season and reflecting on how they've been executing, it has been solid. And I think for Toronto, what an ideal start for them this season. I mean, it takes some teams a while to kind of come together. Not this group. They were ready right from the start. And what a good feeling it is to play such high-quality basketball so early in the season. This kind of start sets the foundation for what could be a monster year. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Smooth. Curry is up there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's LeBron James and it's Harris in at the three swing. And so here's Toronto. It's a three point game. Trent finds Siakam. Six on the shot clock. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. I'm deep. Some talent for sure in the backcourt tonight. Greg, did, did it ever add anything for you playing across from another top-level guard? No, it always raises the stakes. And you want to rise to that challenge. But in the end, it all comes back to winning as a team. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. I caught up with Coach Nick Nurse. I asked Coach about how he'll slow down LeBron tonight. Both had a good laugh about that. Coach said there's just no way to do it. Believe me, I've tried to come up with one. If there was a way to slow down LeBron, someone would have done it by now. LeBron's resume shows there isn't an answer for him, and there never has been. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. Now, here's Trent. Ananobi with it. Back to Trent. Here's the three. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. On its way from Curry for two. He's now one for two with that bucket. Steph Curry's ability to shoot the basketball off the dribble may be as special as we've ever seen in the history of the league. Amazing to think some question if Curry could lead on his own, isn't it, Doris? He has answered the critics quickly. A 162-point outburst showed how dominant he is. After missing almost all of 2020, some began to doubt Mr. Curry. I don't think anyone is going to make that mistake again. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's the only option. He's off on the first. At the line for the away team. Number 23. No good at the stripe this time. The second misses also. Uncharacteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. Here's Van Vliet. And the rejection by James. He was tracking that shot the whole way. No chance LeBron was letting that get to the rim. Harris passes to LeBron. Barnes grabs the miss. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. And they're able to recover. 
and can hit the shot, but they're saying he got edge, so he'll head to the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. And what you get with Barnes, Greg, tremendous versatility. And he gets others involved, Kevin. Plays great defense, has an excellent feel for the games. He doesn't have to score to impact winning, but if you need points from him, the young fella can provide that as well. Now, here's Quickly, defended by Trent. And that one's good, Quickly. If you ever notice Stephen Curry's vision, his eyes are always looking for opportunities to find his teammates. So timeout called here, the first for the Raptors. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall. Halfway through the season, let's check out the standings out west. They've been in peak form as we've watched them play some tremendous basketball with an eye toward the postseason. Trent finds Van Vliet. Ananobi against Harris. Siakam outside. Pocket six. Here's Trent. Barnes trying to free himself up. Knocks down the three ball. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. And Siakam has got the ball here for the Raptors. They lead by four. Here's Ananobi. Makes it off the glass. I'll tell you, it's six foot eight with the elite athleticism. Good luck checking OG Ananobi on the interior. Here's LeBron. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists tonight. Toronto leading by four. Pass to Ananobi. Two minutes left in the first. Two minutes. LeBron against Siakam. Pass to Trent. Wants to get it to Barnes and does. Misses the layup. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Here's Smooth. A nice jump shot from the top of the key. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Barnes against James. Here's Siakam. And it's blocked. It is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And 10 of their last 12 coming off the six. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And Toronto making a change here. Birch is checked in. Free throw. No good for LeBron. I think what amazes me about LeBron James is that he never stops pushing. This guy is pursuing greatness. Now, here's Ananobi. Chalk up to there. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Inside. Pass to quickly. Here's Smooth. Covered by Barnes. Here's Smooth. And it's off the back rim. No good. Raptors with the lead. 44 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Ananobi. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Yep, that one goes in there. Six points for Smooth. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Now here's Van Vliet. Five points in the game. They get it again. And that one's good, Barnes. Barnes has got six. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. James, good, and Harris gets the assist. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Now here's Barnes. 
Six points for him. Van Vliet outside. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Van Vliet's got his third bucket of the night. And unafraid to challenge the heart of this defense. Van Vliet's a strong finisher for his side. And he drains the three, but let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay for situations just like that one. And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. The Raptors out in front, leading by a point. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. has been a fairly close game through the first quarter and we'll see what happens here in the second and let's get your take guys on the scoring breakdown for Toronto really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys well they've established their presence in the paint tonight also and a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far Rogic is out there with Fred Van Vliet then there's Chris Boucher. Then it's Barnes, and it's Birch in at the five, down low. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Young, good. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And it's Barnes with the ball for the Raptors. They trail by one. They want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. They needed a few extra minutes to get the W in that game, but they got it just the same you know this was about their perseverance and their conditioning to me that was the difference in overtime Greg you're a former player and now the father of a young NBA star what's it like to see the next generation of NBA talent move into the league oh it's an incredible feeling because we all feel like we're a part of this NBA family and to see the stars we have today the character they have, the way they approach the game. Man, this is the best time ever to be an NBA fan. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Pascal Siakam was the most improved player in 2019. He says, I love that I cannot be able to do something, but if I put in a lot of hours doing it, I can become good at it. The former 27th pick overall said, not to sound arrogant, but I saw this coming. He says, guys, he bet on himself. He did. He was smart. He certainly put in the work. DA, thank you. Here's Dragic. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Charity stripe shot off the left rim and out. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Harris against Barnes. And the dunk by Barnes. <laughs> Get the handles. Gets through the D and then powers it home. Such a pretty move inside. Clark, how do you stop that? Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Toronto calls timeout. For viewers, timeout's a, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here.
Siakam has jumped in for Ken Birch. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for LeBron James. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Barnes against Harris. And the dunk by Barnes. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Young's shot is good. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Here's Barnes. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Baseline try. The rebound by Young. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. Trains it from beyond the arc. Young's got 15. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Now Trugic. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. And you see the confidence Dragic has in his shooting. He knows he can sink those shots. After his trail by four. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Yes, that goes in. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operation. And a guy who routinely outworks people. This team feeds off his energy. Well, Pascal Siakam is a guy described by his coach as a speed player. We know the pressure he puts on teams in transition. He's willing to mix it up physically and sacrifice his body in the post. And this guy will leave it all out on the floor. What a ceiling for Pascal Siakam. Here's Barnes. Picked his pocket. Here's Young. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And that's now 19 points for Champ. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Barnes against Harris. The tray. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook here in the second. Curry passes to Young. Launches a three, and it's Dragic with the rebound. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Raptors. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Here's Young. Oh, and the dunk by Young. Nice there, getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. A drive by Barnes. Siakam. Well, Siakam pushing right through the contact. Go ahead, young sir. Curry passes to Young. Over Siakam. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Barnes outside. Ejected by Young. And here they come. Quickly the pass to Harris. Here's Young, and Young with the stuff. Well, this is the board awareness that Joe Harris gives you. He is so skilled at realizing how to give his teammates an open look. And the foul on Joe Harris. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Just four seconds left in the first half of the game. And the whistle blows in the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Backward violation called. 
The ball goes Here's Curry. He got it up. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. They're up by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Steph, coach said that you had to make them feel you physically in this game. How important is it to continue doing that in the second half? Uh, that's a big deal. I mean, um, just being physical and, uh, you know, make the right plays and then hopefully we put ourselves in a good position to win. We'll see what happens. Thanks, Steph. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, give us your take. Their passing is what kept the offense rolling. The communication has been tremendous. Guys are working as a unit and not as individuals. They've got to repeat that kind of ball movement in the second half. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Toronto? I like the way they rebounded. They devoted a lot of energy down low, fighting for each other on the boards. And they helped keep this game tight. If they can continue to do that, it could easily be the factor that swings the game in their favor. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Champ. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Young is up there with Smooth. Then it's Curry. Then there's Emmanuel quickly. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. And that one, good. Well, the increased playmaking ability of Pascal Siakam on display. Pretty pass. Young, no good. Raptors trail by three. It's Trent on the wing. Here's Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. An automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one hand stuff to get the two points. Siakam's gone two or three from the field. Curry kicks to Harris. He dishes it to Young. Good, and Harris gets the assist. Harris has got his fourth assist in this one. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Here's Van Vliet. Can't hit the step back jump shot. Young looking it over. Again, Young missing. Toronto with the ball. The pass to Siakam. Floats one up. He can't hit that time. For all that he gives them on offense, Siakam's ability, Greg, to switch defensively is key for this team. And he can legitimately stay in front of guards on the perimeter. I mean, this guy can test shots without fouling. You love the combination of focus and strong fundamentals. Yeah, he shot the ball well enough to keep his team even. Let's see if together they can elevate past that. Young, good. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. The 10-footer. That's good on the jump shot. Young's got six here in this quarter. I tell you, he's making everything he looks at tonight. He should be their number one option on every possession. 11 feet away, and that one's good, Barnes. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Down low, here's Young. That one goes in. 31 points for Champ. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Van Vliet outside. And there it is for him. You love 
how much edge Fred Van Vliet plays with. This guy is undersized. He's on the interior. He says, I'm still going to score it. And the basket by Harris. You can see he just has a great Seven, overall three. feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Here's Young. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got five assists tonight. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Poked away. And they're pushing it up. Here's Curry. Lays it up and in off the Seven. pretty assist. Curry. Curry's got seven. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their pass. Pass to Trent. And here is Ananobi. He's got six. And finished off by Siakam. Well, the athletic ability of Pascal Siakam with a little sauce there. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Van Vliet against Curry. From 13, here's Siakam. The rebound by Young. Young's got four rebounds now tonight. Over Barnes. Young, good. Assisted by. And that's now 37 points for Champ. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Harris with it. Put it now by Barnes. Fast break, Toronto. Ananobi, good. He's got eight. OG Ananobi, because of his athletic ability, can be special in the open floor. Nice finish there. Shots good from Young. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Passes it to Van Vliet. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. They get it back. Young. And it's slammed in by Young. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. And they cash in right away with a quick shot. Emmanuel, Young's got 43 points. They've hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Barnes. Can't hit from 12. Now, here's quickly. Guarded close to the wing on the left. Here's smooth. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. They're up by 11. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So for Toronto right now, they've got Siakam. OG Ananobi is out there with Kim Birch. 
Then there's Drogic, and it's Trent in at the two spot. Drogic has gone 67% from the field, four of six. Outside for Curry. Pass to Young. Releases, and he hits the jump shot. Young's got 45 points. Well, they're just riding the hot hand down the stretch, and he's been in a zone all night. Trent finds Siakam. Young with the steal. And now Young running the floor all by himself. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Siakam. First team foul. Elbow. Two. Shooting for the away team. At the line for two. And the first one drops. And so Young nails them both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. And the pass to Birch. Kicks it to Dragic. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. From the arc. Kept alive. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. His production has been unbelievable. A testament to how much he cares about his craft. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Birch finds Dragic. Shoots off the step back. And again, Toronto no luck. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Curry with it. Dishes it to Harris. Here's Young. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got six rebounds now in the game. Rockets the pass to Siakam. And it's good. Two points. Wow. Finishing through contact with a beautiful display of focus. What a job by Pascal Siakam through contact. Pass to Young. For Birch. And another one falls. Another 50-point game from him. And he is now third in the record books for most 50-point games in a season. You know, G.A., you can't deny the greatness we've seen from him all year long. He has performed at the highest level, game in and game out. His play this season has moved him past Kobe. Yes, Kobe being Bryant for most 50-point games in the season. I can still remember that incredible 2007 year for Kobe, and that has been best. Knocks it loose, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Quickly. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And this is how you protect and grow a lead, by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. And the Raptors with some changes. Raptors Boucher comes in for Cam Birch. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Goran Dragic. They get a hand on it. Young with the steal. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Young's got 55. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. I do he's gone five or seven from the field. That's uh, over 71% action. Young, good. Young's got 57 points. Well, he scored over half their points so far. Just an unbelievable effort. Curry against Van Vliet. 
fires from 14, and the dunk by Boucher. Well, this is an important part of his offense. We know Van Vliet can knock down big-time shots, but what a pretty pass right there. On its way from Young for two. It's good, only a few seconds into the shot clock. Young's got 59 points. Boy, that's all by design now. Get the shot as soon as possible on that inbound pass. Siakam against Young. Siakam's shot is off. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And then Young with the jam. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreaker. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by 18. 135 left here in the fourth quarter. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Champ. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. Curry against Flynn. Passes it to Achua. Back to Flynn. Pope loose. Achua, no good. Now, here is Young. Launches it. Hits it from three-point range. He's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. Achua in the corner. Five on the clock. And again, no good by Toronto. And out of bounds as the Raptors gain possession. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Raptors moving the ball around. Pass to Flynn to stop the run. And again, Toronto no luck. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. Here's Young. Oh, and that's dunk by, by Young. Step Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Now Flynn. Six seconds separating the oh, shot game clocks. And Stephen Curry with the foul. That's, that's his first, first foul. First, foul. first team foul. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Flynn the pass to Achua. Back to Flynn. Shot clock at five. Shot from 16, and he nails the jumper. Young from outside. That one misses. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Hey, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, you have accomplished so much in this league. How have you sustained it for this long? No, it's only a select few. It's not many who make it to this point, and, and I would never take the game for granted. That's why I try to give everything I can till I can't give no more. And uh, I've been around some great players, great coaches, great organizations, and uh, for me to have this opportunity right here means a lot, and I'm very humble. Well, we appreciate all the work you've put in, man. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. 
For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Carla.